Hey everybody. So this has been my backyard for the last seven years. Uh, it also happens to be a national park. So there's a lot of critters out here too. There's a fox somewhere on the grounds because I've seen it. It's wandered around the Oval Office. Uh, there's a hawk that some kids uh, named Lincoln uh, who flies around here. Uh, mostly though, other than squirrels, I just look at the trees, uh, enjoy the air, and a lot of what I do is just think about how I want to make sure that the beauty of this particular national park, but also national parks all across the country and our planet are going to be there for Malia, Sasha, their kids, their grandkids uh, for generations to come. Because of American leadership, we've already been able to get 150 countries that represent about 90% of the world's economy and carbon emissions to agree that we need to come together to create that international framework. And we're going to be meeting in Paris in December to try to hammer out that agreement. Because not only do I want future presidents to be able to take walks like this, I want to make sure that the American people are able to enjoy the incredible national parks, the incredible beauty, the mountains, the oceans that have been uh, you know, one of the greatest gifts that we've ever received. And I want to make sure that the whole world uh, is able to pass on to future generations uh, the God-given beauty of this planet. So we're going to need you to help us on this. You've got to get uh, engaged about why climate change is so important uh, because if all of America is joining around this critical project, uh, then you know, we can have confidence that we're doing right by future generations and passing on to our kids uh, all the blessings that we've received. Thanks so much, everybody.